Witam serdecznie panie i panowie. Bardzo proszę, kto opuszcza salę o opuszczanie. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're leaving the room, please do so in silence. Komisji Polityka Komisji w dziedzinie prawości. We go on now to the next point of the agenda. This is a declaration from the Commission on the Integrity of the European Commission appointing the Secretary General of the Commission. Mr. Oettinger will speak on behalf of the Commission. Commissioner. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, you invited me to come along today to speak on behalf of the Commission to make a declaration about the policy of integrity of the Commission when it comes to the way the Commission works, specifically with uh, the regard to the appointment of Martin Salmeyer. As of the 1st of March this year, the appointment of Secretary General of the Commission. Let me just give you the background. In February, there were a number of decisions taken by the Commission about the senior management. There was a whole package. Now, why did we decide to do this? Quite simply, because there are a large number of the Directorates General where we know that we have uh, some senior management posts uh, coming up, and that these coming up almost every week. We think that this, if we change these every week, it would lead to a lot of unrest, which is why we do this in a package. In this way, we ensure uh, proper development within our institution. For example, we make sure that we have a balance between the different nationalities. We look at the ages. We look when people are going on, which are retiring. And we also have a priority, which is to increase the number of women. And the last package was prepared by the person who was in office before me. It was adopted in the College of the Commissioner of uh, the Commission alongside a lot of directors and directors generals and deputies we also had the decision that Catherine Day was going coming to the end of her term in office and uh, there was a need for new Secretary General, at the end of June, we had a comparable package to the one that we adopted some weeks ago. We have a very definite procedure for this. We take these decisions on the basis of the statutes of the European Union. This is our right and indeed our obligation. It is our duty. And that is what we did once again this time around. We took this decision in agreement and in cooperation with the, the Portfolio Commission, the coordinating vice presidents, myself, and the president of the commission. All decisions of the College of Commissioners were on the basis of my proposal and uh, the decision on the Secretary General was on a proposal from the President, as is indeed the responsibility as set out in the rules of the Commission. All decisions, including the decision on the new Secretary General, was una were unanimously agreed by the College of the Commissioners. If you look at the minutes of the meeting of 21st of February, you can see that we acted in accordance with our rules. As far as I'm concerned, there is no doubt, and indeed this has not been called into question, 
that Martin Selmayr has all the necessary qualifications to take on the task of Secretary General of the Commission. He has lengthy experience in key positions within the Commission. He's an excellent legal expert. He is very good at communication. And he is certainly 100% suitable for this uh, position. He works very hard. He has a pro European stance. Over and above that, he also enjoys uh, the confidence of the President of the Commission. He enjoys my confidence and indeed the confidence of the whole of the College of the Commission. Now, if procedural questions are to be raised, which has happened in public over the last few days. I would say that in this package and in the employment uh, of Martin Selma in accordance with Article 7 to the post of Secretary General of the Commission, we have done everything by the book. First of all, there was a tender for the post of Deputy Secretary General, then there was an assessment sent, an external assessment of uh, candidates. We had the interview with the advisory committee within the Commission, and then the interview with the President and myself one day before the decision was taken. It's a perfectly correct appointment in accordance with the rules of the statutes. I was the commissioner in charge. I had to make sure that everything was done by the book, and that did do that. Nationality and uh, party allegiance have nothing to do with uh, the appointment of somebody to this kind of a post. The only thing that's important is the person is suitable for the job, and we've done that. In the guidelines, it says that the Commission needs to guarantee this work, and that is what we've done here. We feel that Martin Selmayr is 100 percent suitable for the post to which he has been appointed. We can assure you that all formal requirements have been fulfilled. We, were, we acted in line with procedure, and the candidates is 100 percent qualified for the post. We would therefore ask you to check the decision, but once you've checked it, please accept.